In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the updates to the Immersive Reader that have come available just recently. Uh, right now, these are only available under the uh, Windows 10 app as well as uh, the online version. And I'll show you the, what I'm talking about here. So this is the 2016 version of OneNote, and you can always know that because uh, all of the different sections are up here on the top rather than down along the side. And here are my, my pages. Now, yours might show up on the right-hand side. I like mine on the left here, and I've talked about that on the in previous tutorials. Uh, and this is one of my projects I do with my uh, grade nines, and um, I'm just going to uh, use the Immersive Reader. I'm just going to double-click on Read here. I'll click on the Immersive, under Learning Tools, the Immersive Reader, and you can see... Here is a simple example of the... So it does a nice job here. Now, I, I use the Immersive Reader with students that have uh, visual Im imaging problems and they need a high contrast background and words. So the blue uh, background with the black works nicely for them, but they can choose whatever they would like uh, on this. They, you can increase your text size as well here. And I've shown you these videos before. Go on to the parts of speech and you've got your comprehension, syllables, nouns. There's nothing different here in the OneNote 2016 desktop version. Okay, where the, the new things are, are under the app and under the online version. And here is the app version. And, and again, you don't have any of the sections along the top here. They're actually located over here on the left-hand side. So I've got mine set up to just show the different pages rather than the sections with my navigation. I've shown you that in other videos. But again, here I'm going to double-click on the, uh, the read, uh, and I'm going to come into view because that's where the immersive reader lives. And click over here on the end here. Uh, again, I'm going to change my background here to the blue. Uh, you can increase your spacing in, in between each of the words, which works quite nicely for students. Nothing too radical here. Where there are some changes are under the parts of speech. You can change your syllables, but this is new. You can actually choose different colors for uh, the different parts of speech, so that's brand new as well. Uh, so if you're using a different colored background, you can choose different colored examples for nouns, verbs, and adjectives. You can also, if you come into the bookshelf here, we've got line focus. Now what that is, if I click on the single line, it only shows one line at a time. So as I play it back, here is a simple example. You can see that it just reads through of the type of video mood I am looking and goes up and down, uh, which is quite nice. Um, but if you come back in here, you can go three lines at a time or five. And I'm finding that the five works quite nicely for my students here, but I'll turn that off for now. Here's what's really cool. The picture dictionary, when I turn that on and I come over here and I click on a word and let's say the student doesn't know what the word door means. When I click on it, it shows me a picture of what that is. And door. It, you can play it back and have the student learn what that particular word is. So tension, they don't show you anything. What about video? Yeah, it shows you a little picture. Nothing for mood. Nothing for multiple. Quick, oh, what is that, a cheetah running? Okay, Quick. so it gives you some background information here. Now, that's available in the OneNote uh, uh, Windows 10 app, but it's also available online. And if I come into my online version, here's my online version. And you can see it's it looks almost the same, but the background's gone. So no ruled lines and no background color. What it does work nicely, though, is if I go into my immersive reader here, you get exactly the same information as you did uh, the OneNote app. And I've got the picture dictionary here as well as the line spacing. So right now it's not available for... Um, for the 2016 desktop version, but I'm hoping that will eventually come. Uh, it is available online as well as on the uh, Windows 10 app version of OneNote. Again, as always, if you have any questions, drop me an email.